Hi, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. Today we're going to make chocolate rice crispy treats and this is what they look like. Now this is just your regular rice crispy treat that we all love, only we're going to add three different types of chocolate. So um, the first thing we need to do is to prepare our pan. I'm using a 9 by 13 inch pan which is 23 by 33 centimeters. And you could just uh, spray it with one of those nonstick sprays. I'm going to um, brush my pan with a, just a little bit of melted butter. Or you could even uh, brush your pan with like a flavorless oil. Whatever way you want to do it. Because if you've ever made Rice Krispie Treats, you know it's very sticky. So that's why you want to make sure your pan prepared well and now so um, the first thing you need to do is get a large bowl I did just spray my the inside of my bowl with one, a nonstick spray again you could use a little melted butter or a flavorless oil and what I put here is uh, six cups which is 150 grams of Rice Krispie cereal or some type of cereal like that different brands uh, and now what we're going to do is you'll need about a medium-sized saucepan. Again, I'm going to spray that. And I'm actually even going to spray my spatula. Because everything's sticky here. And first thing you need is five tablespoons, which is 70 grams of butter. Now here you could use salted or unsalted butter. And I've just kind of cut it up a little bit so it will melt faster. And I'm just going to turn my heat on to medium, and I'm just going to let that melt. Okay, so our butter has melted. And have your heat medium, medium low. You don't want it too hot here. And I'm just going to add two ounces, which is 60 grams, of like a semi-sweet chocolate, or you could use a bittersweet chocolate. And I just cut it into um, small pieces. And just let that melt, watch your heat. And then I'm also going to add my second type of chocolate. I'm going to add two tablespoons, 15 grams of an unsweetened cocoa powder. You could use a regular unsweetened or you could use a Dutch process, which, whichever type you have in the house or what you like. And then because I used unsalted butter, I'm going to add just a pinch, about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. If you use salted butter, then you just leave that out. And now what we're going to add is one 10 ounce bag, which is, uh, what's that, about 285 grams, yes, 285 grams of, min I use some miniature marshmallows, make sure, as you can see here, I'm really stirring this, I want the marshmallows to melt. Now, um, you, I use the miniature, you could use the, the large ones, or, I mean, really, you could use uh, 10 ounces 285 grams of homemade marshmallows, if you have that in your house. If you're buying a bag of marshmallows, and I found this out the hard way when I was testing this recipe, really check the expiry date when you're buying marshmallows. You want fresh ones because if they're not fresh, they really don't melt as easily. And I, I find the whole mixture isn't quite as smooth as when you have nice, fresh, soft ones. So just keep that in mind. Always check your bag for that when you're buying them. So what I'm doing here, I want to make sure nothing sticks, nothing burns. So as they melt, just um, keep stirring until it's all, all your marshmallows are melted. Okay, so we are, everything's, all melted and smooth, as you can see. And all I smell is chocolate in here. And so I'm going to add, just for flavoring, about one teaspoon, four grams of pure vanilla extract. I mean, you don't have to if you don't want that uh, little kind of bit of vanilla flavor. So I'll just give that a good stir. Oh. So now I'm just going to pour that over the top. I 
I love making these. They're so easy and they're so good. Everybody loves them. And you're, you're done in like 10 minutes. We all need these kind of recipes so we can just whip them up. So now what we're going to do is just coat all of our Rice Krispies in our chocolate mixture. I find these ones because of the, I guess because of the chocolate, I find the mixture not quite as sticky to work with as the regular Rice Krispie treats, which by the way, if you want to make those, of course we have a recipe as, and a video on the Joy Baking website if you want to do that. So now at this point I'm going to add, because we this is our third chocolate, I'm going to add a half a cup, 85 grams, of semi-sweet chocolate chips. You could use bittersweet, you could use milk, you could even use white chocolate chips, whatever. Or if you don't want that little crunch of chocolate chips, you could just leave them out. Or some people like to sprinkle the chocolate chips over the top once you put them in the pan. So that's another option. But I like mine right in there. Make sure you get to the bottom. Some chocolate gets stuck down there. Turn it. Hey, looks good. Okay. Now, I, I used a 9 by 13. I like mine thin. I like to cut really big squares, and I, <laughs> and I like them nice and thin. Um, you could use just, if you want them thick, you could use like a 9-inch square, 23-centimeter square baking pan. Some people like to do that. So if you don't have this size pan, don't think, oh, I can't make these. Yes, you can. I'm going to use my hand. These aren't too hot, so I'm just going to press them in here. And we are done. Isn't that great? Now, um, at this point, they are a little soft and sticky. Uh, these ones I made the other day, and they are, you know, they're, as you can see, they're really quite firm. This is quite, this mixture is quite soft. Some people love it this way. My kids always like the Rice Krispie uh, treats as soon as I made them. So uh, I prefer to let this sit for maybe an hour to firm up, and uh, they get a little more crunchy, not as soft and chewy. Either way, but in... So, I am going to eat one now, which, so you can see, they're quite soft, sticky, and good. Mm. Do you hear? I don't know whether you hear it, nice and crispy, soft, chewy. It is just like a, a Rice crispy, the regular one. You have that nice marshmallow flavor, but I really like the addition of all those types of chocolate, if you're a chocolate lover, which I am. So try these. And until next time, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com.